Hi, welcome to Mixed Arithmetic Operations with Integers. Uh, right off the bat, I think the title appears more complicated than it actually is. Uh, let's pick it apart here a little bit by Mixed Arithmetic Operations. Uh, arithmetic Operations, we are referring to our basic multiplication, division, and of course addition and subtraction. So we're only dealing with really arithmetic here. And for integers, uh, we're referring to the positives and negatives of whole numbers. So 0, plus or minus 1, plus or minus 2, and so on. So no fractions, no decimals, and only dealing with arithmetic operations. Multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So if you've heard of PEMDAS before, we're going to be using at least a part of that. Uh, PEMDAS is the order of operations, uh, parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction. Uh, since we're dealing with arithmetic, these bottom two are what we're going to be doing. And multiplication and division, it's important, they do not get done multiplication and then division. They actually get done together. And if we have more than one, then we start on the left, and then we move to the right. The same is true for addition and subtraction. It's not addition and then subtraction. It's done together. And they are also done from the left to the right if we have more than one of those. Okay, so let's take a look at our example. And our example is we're asked to evaluate negative 6 minus negative 3 times negative 6. So back to our multiplication and division getting done first and then addition and subtraction. I'm looking for my operators and I see two of them there. I see subtraction and I also see multiplication. So that being the case multiplication and division gets done first. Now these are the two uh, terms that are being multiplied. So in my first step that's all I'm going to do is just multiply those two terms. Everything else that is out here I am just going to bring down. I'm going to bring down the negative, I'm going to bring down the 6, and I'm going to bring down the subtract. Those aren't involved any way in where we're starting this question which is out here. So negative 6 times negative 3 if we remember back to multiplying integers when the signs are the same our result is positive. So a negative 3 times a negative 6 they have the same sign we're actually gonna get a positive 18 and that's what I would write down right below it. Now since it's positive uh, I'm not going to put the plus out there, although you know, certainly I could. Uh, but to me, that just looks a little confusing to have double signs there. Uh, the negative 3 times negative 6 is 18, and everything else that we see out here is what we just brought down from the question above, which were not involved in that multiplication. So what do we have to do now? Well now we have a subtraction problem. We've got negative 6 minus 18 and we use the rules for addition that say when the signs are the same, and remember we can treat these as the signs being the same, kind of treat them as both negatives. Uh, negative 6 minus 18, when the signs are the same we add 6 and 18 and get 24 and we keep the sign. So one thing to notice here is we had to use the rules for integer multiplication whenever we did our first step here. And then we had to use the rules for integers addition and subtraction for our second step. So if you need to review those, uh, that would be a good idea to do before starting this problem set. Thank you.